Well, hello, my friends. You can see it's on night shoot right now. I'm going to fix that right now. There we go. There we go. See, I need some nice hot java. I'm down in my dungeon here. I just got java. See, I got my cool Frankenstein shirt. Look at that. Monster Bash. See? I was a guest at Monster Bash. I'm an annual guest of honor every year. There's my uh, Creature Feature Fan Club pin I got from Mr. Lobo. He had a Monster Bash. He gave that to me. Yeah. Anyway, so, okay, you're going to style here's a fight against Jazzy Jabbin' James Flowers. That's James Flowers, who now trains boxers at uh, Crane, um, Crane High School down in Chicago on uh, Leavitt Street. I think that's Leavitt, um, near there. Uh, Roosevelt Road in Leavitt, I think, whatever, Crane High School down in Chicago. He trains boxers now. And uh, so, um, anyway, that's James Flowers, who is the Illinois State Light Heavyweight Champion, one about that was uh three years after this fight uh, maybe it was two years after i think 89 or 90 he won the illinois state championship against tony la rock la rosa that they, they call that's like the, the rock in italian he passed away in 2004 i think he was in a motorcycle accident uh tony la rock la rosa nice guy may rest in peace but he fought Dwight Muhammad Kawi once, uh, got a controversial decision. He won. He was given the decision, but it was a very close fight. Yeah. I had, and uh, so, I met, so I met them after the fight. But the point is, I want to say, so, um, but anyway, here's the fight against Jay's, James Flowers, who beat Tony LaRock La Rosa by a unanimous decision. I mean, he outboxed him for 10 rounds, won the Illinois State Light Heavyweight title. 1989 or 1990 in the Chicago Amphitheater, and I was in the audience cheering him on because I boxed him twice here Sunday, September 13th, 1987, which you're going to watch now. There's a home movie filmed by my brother, or maybe it was my buddy Andrew that filmed it. Filmed it. I think it was my brother Phil, but on 8mm film on my old 8mm movie pre camera, and um, you know, when they develop it, it comes on reels like this, a 50-foot reel, 8mm uh, film. Uh, actually, that was shot in Super 8. And then um, I transferred, I projected it on a screen down here in my basement on, off the um, movie with a movie projector, and I made a video copy of it. Then I put it on DVD. So that's what you're going to watch now. You're going to watch a DVD copy from the video master that I made off this while projecting it against the wall on a piece of cardboard in my basement with my old 8mm movie projector. So here we are. Here's my first fight. My first of two fights against Jay Jab and James Flowers. I fought him again in, at the 1990 Chicago Golden Gloves. And, oh, no, 1989. 1989 Chicago Golden Gloves. And uh, he won in two rounds. That's when I fought as a light heavy. I, I was recuperating from walking pneumonia that I had. I just got over that like 10 days before the fight. Well, because I went outside with my hair was wet and I got walking pneumonia. Always dry your hair. Dry your body before you go out in the cold. You know? But, you know, I ended up getting, I got real sick. Uh, fortunately, I got healed, and uh, and uh, so I was able to, I had like 10 days to get back in shape. So, you know, I, I wasn't at my best, but I put up a good fight. And, but this was the first fight when I was 160, James Flowers, 178, at, um, it's still, sounds still going, yeah, at St. Mary's Church in Des Plaines, Illinois, on Pearson Street, downtown Des Plaines, Illinois, a couple miles from here. And they uh, had a Mexican, a Latino, they're still testing one, two, three. Let's, uh, Mar uh, Latino Americano uh, Festival for the summer, September 13th, 1987. You know, tacos and they had dancing. You know, it was a festival. So, uh, and they had boxing and my, oh. So, uh, that was the first fight. And so here it is. Now enjoy. I need some more Java. That's good Java.
Okay, well, that was uh, September 13th, 1987, a Sunday afternoon. And uh, that, they would call that a draw. It was like, it was a tie. And uh, there was no ringside doctors that day, so they, they didn't want us trying for a knockout. They said, you know, just, you know, put up a good fight, but, you know, don't knock each other out because we don't have a doctor here today. So, <laughs> so you know, that was fun. So that, um, that was my first fight with James Flowers, also known as Jazzy Jabbin' James Flowers, because he had a good jab. And he was a runner-up in Chicago Golden Gloves a couple times. The only guy he had really lost to in the Golden Gloves, I think, was Terry McGroom, who went on to win the title. They, 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 those guys fought. I mean, that was like, they were real evenly matched. And McGroom got close decision to those fights. But uh, uh, James Flowers, but he won the Illinois State Light Heavyweight title in the pros uh, three years after this fight, 1990. And I was at ringside cheering him on. Our second fight was at the 1989 Golden Gloves, which is a year before he uh, turned pro, uh, won the Illinois State Light Heavyweight title. And um, so I, I, he beat me in the second round. They had to stop the fight because he hit me with too many punches, you know. Okay, so, okay, so enjoy. Okay, I'll see you. Look for my videos on YouTube and feed me on Facebook. David Rock Nelson, Monster Movie Maker. See, I got my friend's nice shirt on, you know. And, um... That's why I'm 66, but I still got it. I just want to show you. I still got my muscles, man. That, then, then I was 160. Now I'm like 170, 165. Look at that. I still work out. I did my push-ups last night. I did two sets at 25 reps. Let's see, look at that. Look at that. Ugh. Are you jealous of my body? I know you are. Ugh. 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 Okay. Okay. Cut the